In this video I would like to explain what is overhanging in 3D printing. Overhanging is a technique which you can use to get uh, printed surfaces under the angle. Overhanging angle is the angle between vertical line and angle of the surface. So approximately this is maybe 10 degrees, this is 45 degree angle and this is maybe 80 degree and this is 90 degree angle which is impossible to print with this technique. Printer is placing layer on layer. This means we get this vertical line, zero degree overhang. If you want to do some angle here, then you can move a little bit these layers and we get approximately 10 degree angle here, overhang. Or if you want a bigger angle, then your printer has to move those layers even more. For example, here I try to illustrate the 45 degree overhang. It's the angle between vertical line and angle of this surface here. If you are using too big overhang, it will fall down. What can you do then? Well, you can use a support. I always try to create a design where I don't have to use the supports because it is waste of time, waste of filament and also uh, when you remove the filament when the object is printed that surface is not so nice so you have to post process with the sandpaper or something like that. But what is the maximum overhang you can use? Theoretically they say, always say that 45 degree overhang is safe to use with almost every material. If you need bigger overhang angle with that and you don't want to use a support, you have to test it. Don't forget. So you have to test because it depends on the material, depends on the temperature, of layer height, uh, printing speed. So it depends on a lot of parameters. How to test the overhang? You can go to my website, you can download one of these files. I prepared uh, two files. One is the overhang test where I prepared overhanging with every 10 degree increased and the other one is the every 15 degrees overhang increased. I also created this minimalist test. If we predict that up to 45 degree is safe then actually in test I need overhang angles above 45 degrees. Uh, 45 degrees can be checked on this surface here. Don't forget, remember the parameters, the material, the temperature, the printing speed, the layer height, and then print this. It is very small file, very quickly you can print it, but don't forget, uh, you always have to watch, especially when you are above 45 degrees overhang, uh, stay there and uh, follow the printing, because when it failed you want to stop the printing, because you will get those spaghetti after the end of the printing. It is a question what is the maximum overhang with acceptable surface because it's very very big overhang maybe it can be printed for example 60 or 75 degrees but the quality will be very raw it will not be nice that that surface. But let me show you one of my tests uh, these are the parameters for for this printing few examples about this technique. For example, imagine you want to print a box and you want all those edges to be rounded, for example, I don't know, one centimeter. You cannot start with the printing uh, on the bottom with that angle because the overhang angle on surface is almost 90 degree. 
what you can do is to start with the 45 degree and then you can continue with the rounded edges like here in this file I'm showing to you. Another example, imagine that you want to print a vertical hole. With the start there is no problem. But here, at this point, we have 45 degree overhang and above this, here almost theoretically at the end it is 90 degree overhang so this cannot be printed with the small holes uh, that can be okay but with bigger holes that will not work imagine that you want to put some rod in this hole what we can do that after 45 degree you continue with the straight line and end here then, then the, this diameter uh, rod or shaft can be placed in this hole and remember uh, with uh, overhanging and uh, bridging techniques you can uh, print a lot of objects without support in proper position so keep this in mind another example if i want to print this box i can do it without support because this overhang angle is maybe 30 degrees i can do it with the 45 degrees but i cannot do it like this in uh, 80 degrees overhanging for example. Another quick example how uh, to keep in mind that overhang when you are creating some design. Imagine that you want to design this mud. In, with this design you need supports from the bottom because it cannot be printed in the air. This is almost 90 degree overhang. And also of course you need here the supports because of this. But with this design basically it can be printed all over without supports. The only supports you will need here, you don't need so much supports because this is approximately a 45 degree overhang. And at the end, one last little bit funny advice if you want to print human heads, choose a human who has small ears, stick to his head, who has nose like this, and uh, develop like this. So, to summarize, 45 degree angle is safe to use. Above 45 degree you have to do the test and check for your parameters, your material, your, on your 3D printer, uh, what is the maximum overhang, uh, overhanging angle uh, which can be useful to you. I hope this, you find this video useful and if this was new to you then consider uh, to like this video and maybe you could subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me to my next video where I will explain the bridging. I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!